Hi, it's Dr. Games, and welcome to another Gamer Skills video. The video today is actually going to be done in four parts. It would be a little long otherwise. And it's going to concern how do we take a MP4 video, convert it into a format that's appropriate for a DVD, right container and format, add subtitles, and closed caption. So believe it or not, that's about one of the most complex series of things that you can do with a DVD. We're going to use several programs to do that. We're going to start off with FFmpeg, Video Studio My DVD, Pinnacle 18, Sony Vegas Pro 12, Sony DVD Architect 5.2, PCG DMUX 1.2.0.5, Subtitle Edit 3.4.6, CC Captioneer, Muxman 0.16.8, Bob Blanker 2.1.3 and Image Burn 2.5.8. The first thing is how do you convert into a suitable format? So, so those of you who are familiar with these gamer skills videos know that I'm a big fan of the command line tool FFmpeg. And here are two ways of doing it with FFmpeg. The first one is just direct. As the input file, you've got the name of the file with the MP4 extension. Now I always add, pretty much always add, this advanced filter in, which makes it synchronize the sound and the video. And then this, uh, this target option adds all kinds of uh, embedded parameters that make it good for a DVD and I put it out in MPEG which is the standard uh, which is one of the standard containers that you can put into a DVD. This conversion process for a two-hour movie uh, it was about times six and it went about 35-ish minutes um, and I will show you what that looks like. So this is uh, what it looks like so you can see what happens here um, it comes out uh, this was just done very this is the result of that very basic you can see that it's a little jerky <clears throat> there's some issues it's not 100 percent clear and you can see that it uh, it's quite pixelated Okay, so I said, well, you know what, um, that was pretty quick. That was actually relatively quick for a two-hour movie. But now let me do it in a two-stage process. So one of the more, in the more recent versions of FMMPEG, they actually have this, uh, uh, they actually have another filter that allows you to go directly to another container for mp4s and this puts it directly into a DVD container um, there are some programs I have that would allow you to put this directly into a uh, DVD but I went ahead and further turned it into an MPEG so this this is lightning fast this went at 20 times speed because it's really just a copy it's a copy of just taking that format putting it into that uh, into that DVD container. So super fast. And then this is relatively fast too because it's just taking this container and outputting into the MPEG format, adding the appropriate uh, buffers and frames, etc. So pretty quick. So really all told, it was uh, probably about the same as, as that. I think I started, uh, it was about 45 minutes soup to nuts. Uh, but that included time to set this up and write the commands and everything else. And again, this is a command line format. Uh, unfortunately, um, I'm not going to show you that because it didn't really change the results. So what did I end up using to do the conversion is I used Pinnacle 18. So I just I wanted to show you how uh, this, all that I did is I imported it. This is the uh, MP4 format. You can see it up there. I just drug it down there. And this uh, Pinnacle 18 is really optimized for a 64-bit architecture and for MP4. So just go to Export, 
Okay, so a couple couple things. You can see over here uh, that it's set in an MPEG-2 format. Um, so that actually ends up having to get converted. So if you go to Advanced Functions, note this was the most important here, is make sure that your settings for the quality are pumped up near the top end of the range. Uh, if you have them too high, you won't be able to fit all on a, on a DVD. But uh, I also had it set for Adobe Digital and uh, 192 because I wasn't doing anything too fancy. Now, in my perfect world, I'd set this to 720 by 480 because that is because that's the standard Nitsi DVD size. So go ahead and apply that. Um, and then there's these other options as well. Note, uh, these are another mistake you can make is that sometimes you could pick the wrong thing, video only, audio only. You really want both of them in there. So there you go. And it's all set up the right way. And you click export. And this is also lightning fast. Now this utilizes my uh, GPU, my graphics card as well. So or it, it, truth in lending, it divides the encoding between the GPU and my CPUs. So this was really fast. This went about 12 times normal and I'm not gonna not gonna go through that process but I just wanted to show you how that works. Uh, Pinnacle 18, great program for this particular application. I'm a big fan of it for that.